Hi, Lonnie Vaughn with the Motiva Audio here. Going to do a quick little demonstration because we get a lot of phone calls about people asking if their receiver that they have actually has enough output voltage to drive our amplifiers to their maximum output. Well, the easiest way to show you that, there's a couple of ways I could demonstrate that it does. But the easiest way, I think, is just to show you, one, the amp by itself. What does it actually take to get maximum power out? And then we'll take uh, somebody's receiver. We're not going to say who. <laughs> we're just going to take one that we happen to have here. And we're going to put it up here. We're going to run an input signal into it, run it down to the amp, check the outputs, and make sure that it can run to full power. And that way, you know that when you buy our amp to connect to your existing receiver that you have, you'll be able to get the maximum power out of it. So anyway, what we have here is an XPA3. Now you'll probably notice I'm not actually hooking up the center channel. The only reason I'm not hooking that up is because I only want to run two channels out of the receiver itself, just for simplicity's sake. It just saves a lot of time and hassle. So it doesn't make any difference. I'm just not doing it just for the sake of time. So we're running in two channel mode. Now an XPA in two channels is rated to do 300 watts at max, okay, into an 8 ohm load, which is what I happen to have this hooked up to right at the moment. Now, on our audio precision here, if I key that up, turn on our signal generator going in, and we're looking at the output, you notice we're getting just over 300 watts here. At 300 watts, it takes 1.7 volts of an input signal coming in in order to reach maximum output. Now, think of an amplifier as a dumb box. An amplifier, a properly done amplifier, is nothing more than a multiplier. Signal comes in at a specific level, goes out at another level. So in this particular case, we're running 29 dB of gain, 1.7 volts in, gives us 300 watts out. So I'm gonna grab our receiver, get it set up, we're gonna come back, We'll run the same experiment again, but through the receiver, just to make sure that it's got enough output voltage. All right, so we're back. Got our friendly neighborhood receiver here. And what we're doing is, I took the same cables that were going into the amplifier, is now feeding an input signal into the receiver. I'm taking the preamp level out of the receiver, going back into the amplifier. I've already turned it on, got it set to the CD input just for make life easy. And I've already preset the volume. It's currently set on 84.5, whatever that actually means, but that's the number that it's showing on here because it's not in dB, so who knows what that actually means. But it, it's, it's a number on the screen, so it's beautiful, it works, signal's going through it. So we're gonna fire this back up, turn on our tone generator, boom. 320 something watts. Plenty of power to run the amplifier to its full output. So you've got nothing to worry about. All right, we have enough gain in the amplifiers to work with virtually any receiver on the market. So don't worry about that. It's got plenty of juice. It'll work, run the amps just fine. You'll be able to get all the power in the world out of them and be able to enjoy them for a long time. Hopefully that's been helpful. You guys have a wonderful day.